Whoa. Oh my god. Mostly flowers. That is insane. We've got to get down in there. Hi there, good afternoon. This is incredible Kolkata. Previously known as Calcutta. That was the English language version of the city name. Kolkata was always the Bengali name for the city. We are here in West Bengal, a state in far eastern India but it is called West Bengal because it is the western part of the region of Bengal which has a very long history and I was in the more eastern region of Bengal just yesterday known as Bangladesh Bangla, Bengali, Bangladesh, land of Bengalis so the region of Bengal was split in half, or not exactly in half, but a border was established cutting through Bengal during the partition of India in 1947. And so you have the country of Bangladesh to the east, majority Muslim, and then West Bengal here within India, majority Hindu, but they speak the same language and have many cultural similarities. And so this is a very interesting area here. I finished my last video that I filmed yesterday evening right in this area, but didn't show this market area. That is the market that I was just in right there. Hello. There is some very interesting art. The nickname of Kolkata is the City of Joy. It is called that for various reasons because of many festivals that are held here as well as sports, art, music, culture. Considered the cultural capital of India, it was also the actual capital established by the British until it was moved in 1911 to Delhi. And so it is now the capital of West Bengal. What kind of shop? Yeah. They come to see. No, thank you. No, thank you. I see. No, thank you, sir. Oh, Pashmina shawls. I see. No, thank you. Not really in a... Uh, shop touring mood and so we have more of the uh, kind of relief carving it's like a kind of a metal hello no no sim park mall so i'm not gonna lie i am 
really tired out today. Oh, no thanks. I just spent two weeks in Bangladesh. I flew here from Dhaka yesterday. I posted 20 videos in the course of two weeks. So it was pretty dang full on. And then flew here yesterday and am just kind of white from uh, all the intensity. Now, earlier today, I was working on a little uh, errand, which is getting my permit for Sikkim. Sikkim is a state of India, sandwiched between Nepal and Bhutan, and a similar culture as those countries. But it is a restricted area, and you have to get a permit for it. And so I went to the permit office and got it. All done. I am set to go to Sikkim. Okay. Howrah. 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 Yeah? Okay, let's do it. Yeah, like this, just... Okay. Here we go. Classic, uh... Hello. How are you? Nice to meet you, sir. An ultimate Calcutta, Kolkata experience. These are very unique to Kolkata because they are outlawed in most of India. You don't see the rickshaws with men running along, especially barefoot. Perhaps some women as well, I'm not sure, but uh, mostly men, I'm pretty sure. I have known about these for years and years and have wanted to come to uh, Kolkata and experience everything that there is to experience here. Well, maybe not everything. <laughs> There's a lot going on in this mega city. The third largest metropolitan area of India. It is massive, it is packed. So we're going in the opposite direction from where I wanted to go. The Haura is a bridge that is basically like there. So we'll just see where we end up going. It's also kind of a ways away, and I was thinking that it might be kind of too far for the walking uh, rickshaw. So we'll just see where he takes us and uh, figure it out from there. Maybe there's something else called Haura. I'm sure that there probably is. So maybe he's taking me to something completely different. Anyways, as I was saying, I am pretty tired out, so this is not going to be a full tour of the city by any means. I will uh, just do my best to capture what I can see. We're retracing our steps here, but getting back uh, in the right direction at least. And so there is a loop that I had in mind to uh, get up to this bridge, see the river. I believe it is the Ganges, the Ganga, which of course runs through many places that I've been before. Rishikesh and... Uh, Varanasi, Allahabad. And then there is a park over there, and so this uh, loop should give us a nice taste, at least, of this very historic, artistic, cultural, thriving, chaotic, very, very lively, colorful city. So, why didn't I ask him the price to go to where I'm going and confirm that before hopping on the uh, rickshaw? So, it just depends a lot on the general situation, like the distance, which country am I in, or... Uh, you know, am I catching a taxi versus a rickshaw? What is the likely price going to be? Obviously, if it is like a uh, long-distance taxi ride, I want to, you know, pop that in. Hello, sir. I want to know the price beforehand. But especially when it's somewhere that is especially cheap, and I'm sure that these, uh, you know, 
cold rickshaws are especially inexpensive, then I'm just not worried about whatever the price is going to be. Even if he tries to overcharge me, it's still going to be super cheap. And I have been paying all of the rickshaw drivers more than it would be anyways on purpose. Just because I'm happy to, you know, overpay a bit. When the real price is 50 cents or a dollar or two dollars or whatever, I'm really not uh, worried about sticking to the local price. Now I have a small issue in that regard, which is that I have a 100 rupee note and then otherwise I have all 500s. So that's kind of a gap there. I'm sure that 500 would be totally overpaying and 100 might be maybe the local price-ish, but I would want to pay it more than that anyway, so I don't know what I'm going to do, but uh, I'll see when we get there. Maybe give him 500 and see what kind of change he has. 500 rupees would be like $6 US. This is definitely a lot more work than uh, a bicycle rickshaw. It's not like he's carrying the weight, you know, it's balanced in a way, so... Howra! Yes. Better to take taxi? Okay. I think it's too far for him to take me all the way there. So let's see if he'll take the uh, 100 for this short little ride. 500. No, not 500. 300. No, this was short, this was short ride. This was short ride. 200, 200, 200, 200. Okay, okay. But uh, you have change? You have change? Okay. <laughs> This is Howrah, yeah? Ah. Howrah Bridge, yes? Ah, yeah. I can I can get out here, it's okay. No change, no change. Thank you, sir. Drop. Drop yes, in. yes. Yeah. Yeah. So there was nothing in particular that I wanted to uh, see on the bridge itself. It was just kind of something to shoot for. I thought it might have been a little bit uh, easier to walk across. Well, there are people walking up there. I want to get a view of the river. So it is called the Hooghly River, but it is also called the Ganga or the Ganges. I'm not 100% certain based on 
looking online if it's the same as the main Ganges or if it's a, you know, split off of it or if it's a different river with the same alternate name, but it is called the Hooghly. But on Wikipedia it says that it is also called the Ganga. So people have asked about public toilets, there you go. Hello, sir. I'm not about to walk inside there and try to film, but I'll uh, walk past it. It is pretty intense. Public convenience. So you have to pay. I'm sure it's very cheap. Okay, where are some stairs or some way to get up on top of this thing? Maybe up here somewhere. This city is wild. So much going on. I like the vibe though. I definitely prefer it over the other main mega cities of uh, India, of uh, Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai. All right, let's uh, get onto the sidewalk here. Oh man, the incense smells so good. So Howrah is the city across the river. Howrah Bridge and then Howrah is the city. I guess if I get through over here, I should get a view of the river. I don't need to get up on top of the bridge there. Wait for the uh, green light. I love these trees that you see with all the gnarled roots. All right, let's get uh, into this little side bazaar here. There is a major bazaar there, all back through that neighborhood. Okay, this is kind of looking a bit impenetrable. Like that just kind of dwindles to nothing, so that might not work and also looks a little too uh, sketchy there. Let's try to get Hi. a view. Hello. Hello. Up this way.
It is definitely a demanding experience walking through these kinds of scenes having to just kind of be so self-aware looking all around you try not to get run over by vehicles or carts or rickshaws and then just the, the feeling of the intensity of uh, just so many people and the noise and stuff just coming at you from every direction. You know, it's obviously less organized. It is the very definition of sensory overload. But it is also one of the most exciting experiences you're gonna have in your life. Nice looking, uh, chains there, necklaces. Prayer flowers, I guess. Maybe for like floating onto the river. I wonder if they have an arty ceremony here. They must, I would assume. Like they have in Varanasi and Rishikesh and Haridwar where there's music blasting in the evening and then prayers and uh, people put little leaf bowls with flowers and candles and whatnot onto the river and then the lit candle is floating down the river and so you, you see this this kind of a sight of all of these little candles floating on the river Okay, well, it looks like this is actually gonna go onto the bridge right here. I see, that isn't the bridge up there, this is it. So I guess we can walk across. Yeah, because I was thinking that I needed to get like up some stairs, wow. All right, all right, this is working out. Whoa. Oh my god. Mostly flowers. That is insane. We've got to get down in there. This city is hardcore. Let's try to get uh, a good view of the river. I can see the water now. And then come back and go down into the maelstrom of humanity. Hello. All right, here we go. Over the Hoogly. This is epic, man. I just saw a bridge on Google Maps and thought, okay, let's head for that. With no idea what it was gonna be. Wow, what a sight. Another bridge a long ways out there, almost invisible because of the smog. I guess it's partly clouds. Probably a mix of clouds and smog. So I could just walk to Haura, but uh, that is a whole other animal. I think that I won't get uh, into things that way and just get another view, head back. 